Hello, America. I'm Mark Levin, and this is Life, Liberty, and Levin Saturday. Welcome to Great Guests. We have Peter Hegseth and Charles Payne. We'll get to them in a moment. But before we get to them, the campaign that Kamala Harris and her media are running is the most diabolical campaign in modern American history. Flooding the zone with hundreds of millions of dollars in paid ads and propaganda. Very limited availability. For obvious reasons, you saw Kamala Harris with Oprah, some of you. I saw clips. I didn't have the stomach to watch the whole thing. She could barely get through that. Let's come together with the, the character that we are so proud of about who we are, which is we are an optimistic people. We are an optimistic people. Americans, by character, are people who have dreams and ambitions and aspirations. We believe in what is possible. We believe in what can be. And we believe in fighting for that. That's how, that's how we came into being. Because the people before us understood that one of the greatest expressions for the love of our country, one of the greatest expressions of patriotism is to fight for the ideals of who we are. You know, she practiced and studied and got through the debate. But ladies and gentlemen, does she want to be president of the United States? Well, there are other things you're supposed to do. Now, so far, we hear things like she wants everyone to have an opportunity, an opportunity economy. What does that mean? She says she believes in democracy. Stalin said he believed in democracy. So what does she mean? The future. She believes in the future. Well, the future is one second from now. Don't we all believe in the future? So what does that mean? She wants us to turn the page. Turn the page on what? I'm going to turn the page. It's on her. But turn the page. New generation of leadership. What does that mean? We don't pick leaders by age. We pick eaters, leaders by substance. So this entire campaign, that is Kamala Harris's campaign, is a fraud. It's a phony. It's a fake with her help in the media. You have vague phrasing, talking about something without actually directly saying anything in order to hide your real beliefs, thoughts, values, and potential actions. You don't want to be pinned down. You don't want to be defined. So you're an empty pantsuit. So people can pour whatever they want to into you and to vote for you based on what they project upon you. Political manipulation is what this used to be called. It's done in totalitarian regimes, various autocratic regimes. That's how it works. She's not going to lay out her agenda, even though many of us know what the agenda already is. And part of this, this element of propaganda, requires deception, hiding the truth, deception, causing someone to accept as true or valid what is false and invalid. You could see through that debate with Donald Trump, she just kept lying about his position on abortion. Donald Trump hand-selected three members of the United States Supreme Court with the intention that they would undo the protections of Roe v. Wade. In over 20 states, there are Trump abortion bans. If Donald Trump were to be reelected, he will sign a national abortion ban. Understand, in his Project 2025, there would be a national abortion a monitor that would be monitoring your pregnancies, your miscarriages. Lying about Charlottesville. Let's remember Charlottesville where there was a mob of people carrying tiki torches, spewing anti-Semitic hate. And what did the president then at the time say? There were fine people on each side. Let's remember that when it came to the Proud Boys, a militia, the president said, the former president said, stand back and stand by. So for everyone watching who remembers what January 6th was, I say, we don't have to go back. Lying about the 2025 project. What you're going to hear tonight is a detailed and dangerous plan called Project 2025 that the former president intends on implementing if he were elected again. Federalist counted 25 lies. A gave up after 20. Breitbart came up with 21 lies. She just lied and lied and lied and lied. And this is intended to create a projection, a non-reality. And that's what she does. It's deception to cause somebody to believe something that's not true. And they do this in order to protect their agenda, to protect 
their campaign and to promote themselves at the harm of others. That is, at the harm of Donald Trump. She put words in his mouth. She's still doing it. She's still lying about it. And purposes to get an advantage, in this case, an electoral advantage. We call this propaganda. Propaganda has been used for God knows how long, but it became almost scientific about 100 years ago in a book called Propaganda by a man by the name of Bernays. And Bernays was widely read by early Democrat progressives in the 1900s. He was widely read by dictators and genocidal maniacs. In fact, he was widely read by Adolf Hitler. Not that this is Hitler. You get the point. Propaganda. Repetition. Changing the language. The key to propaganda involves the media. Pseudo-events. Pseudo-events. That is, non-news stories that are created as news stories, treated as news stories, and have a two, three, four day shelf life as a news story while real news stories are ignored, while real facts, while real issues that affect the common person, they're dismissed. You can see this now, pseudo events, pseudo news. So what does this mean? What this means is that the campaign is spending money and the campaign is using Kamala Harris to push falsities, nonsense, shiny objects, for you to chase. The things that affect your lives, they don't want to talk about. Food, security, crime, the border, gasoline prices, uh, what your children are taught in school, those are non-issues. Now, to you, they're everyday issues. But to the manipulators, to these masterminds, these are non-issues. They decide what the, the issues are. So we call these hoaxes. Remember Trump talking about the Russian hoax? We call these illusions. These are hoaxes. These are illusions aimed at avoiding the real problems because they have ideas, they have belief systems, but they know you will reject them. I'll give you a perfect example. See that? That's the front page of the Drudge Report, the web page of the Drudge Report. It's been hanging up there last week for a few days. It's caught everybody's attention. It's become a big issue. And so there you have Donald Trump where they hope, the illusion they hope, they're projecting Donald Trump with a Hitler salute. Wearing his red hat, Trump, blame the Jews if I lose. And this is based in part on this group, Mediaite, that took a piece of the clip of the president's speech to a large group of Jewish supporters in Washington, D.C., where I had family members attending. I could not attend, but I had family members attending. It was a fantastic speech. It was a temperate speech. It was a factual speech. It was an exciting speech. And the people left there, the vast majority of whom were Jews, very excited and very happy to have met the president and hear what he said. But this is what they turned it into. Adolf Hitler, blame the Jews if I lose. What Trump was saying was, I'm trying to do the very best I can to appeal to the Jewish community for its votes. And he was saying also that here's my record as applies to the Jewish community. Just as Kamala Harris goes in front of the Islamist community, talks about her record, or goes in front of other communities and talks about her record, Donald Trump has a record he is proud of and he should be proud of when it comes to the state of Israel and Jews, as well as a record in so many other areas that he's proud of and he should be proud of. And he's talking about the substance. He's talking about his record. And he says... In so many words, I saw a poll that I got 29% of the Jewish vote in 2020, 26% in 2016, that I have about 40% of the support in the Jewish community. I better get 60% of the vote or I can't, may not be able to win in these, you know, in some of these blue states. And, you know, I could blame you folks for that. It was tongue in cheek. It was tongue in cheek. Everybody there knew it. And so they do this, like they did with Charlottesville, like they do with everything else that comes out of Donald Trump's mouth. And I want to remind you that, again, I guess it was a week from tomorrow, Donald Trump faced another assassination attempt. That's two. Because of stuff like this. Because when you dehumanize Donald Trump, you create a hero mentality among sick people. That maybe they ought to do something about it. Less than a week. Less than a week after they 
They stopped the second assassination attempt. This is the Drudge Report based on Mediaite. And now we have Jewish organizations. Check that. Liberal Democrat Jewish organizations condemning what Donald Trump said. Condemning Donald Trump. Saying he sounds like Hitler. Like it's the Third Reich all over again. That's the problem we have in this country today. These are not real issues. These are phony issues. Even more than phony issues. They attempt to dehumanize one of the candidates, Donald Trump, only one, Donald Trump, and Kamala Harris. The media and the Democrat Party are counting on all this. They're counting on it so she can squeeze her way into the Oval Office. And then one day, the people who fall for this, these lies, and unfortunately, people have fallen for stuff like this for hundreds of years, thousands of years, they'll wake up and say, oh my God, what did we do? We elect somebody president of the United States who's wholly unqualified, who didn't reveal herself, who turns out to be a Marxist Islamist, who failed as vice president. Oh my God, what did we do? And you can thank the Drudge Report, Mediaite, elements of the media, these left-wing groups, left-wing ethnic groups, but most of all, you can thank the Democrat Party and their ideologues, because these are the campaigns they now run, filled with lies and deception and illusions. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.